Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Janae and welcome to Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Today's video I'm going to be doing a full post review on these items you see here in front of you. Now, I actually did an unboxing or I should say an unbagging for these. Um, unfortunately, that video and three other videos that I had recorded on the same day are gone. I'm unable to get those videos back. My memory card decided to poop out on me and you know this whole the the camera the new camera thing you know it's just been kind of a whirlwind of ups and downs. <laughs> so Got a new memory card, so I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that this recording will take. <laughs> so if it does, yay! If it doesn't, you won't be seeing it. Okay, <laughs> so, um, so again, welcome. And we're going to do a post review on these because it only took me a day to do them all. And um, I had a great time putting them together. So. I got these from, and I have a hard time saying it, guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm probably going to butcher it. Uh, Crafty Arts. I hope that's correct. And I purchased these items on the 3rd of September, and I received them on Thursday, September 24th. Very fast, considering that it came from China. So I'm very impressed with that. It's too bad that you all couldn't have seen me unbag this because you would have heard the shock and amazement when I was undoing these items. So we're going to go with the passport cover first and then these and just go around here. The only one item that I purchased that I didn't complete is a journal and I will show you that as well. So the first thing I unbagged was this and it is a passport cover. Now I purchased this for my husband because I purchased one last year from CS Deals and I liked it but I have to be honest I like this one far far better so I will be buying another one of these. The reason why I like this one better it's oh my gosh guys it is so soft Yes, it's fake leather, but oh, it is soft. It is really, really nice. Now, when I first picked this up, I thought it was a wolf, but it turns out it's a lion. And then it has this beautiful paw back here. So I purchased this for my husband, but you know what? Honestly, I think I'm going to keep this one and get him another one. <laughs> I really like this one. So now I've sealed this, and as you can see, it's very flexible still moves. Um, the sealer that I use is called Liquitex and I love that product. So um, I always seal my special shapes and my rounds because of the gapping. That way nothing, you know, gets in between the cracks there. So uh, again, this is the passport cover. It is a lion with the paw on the back. And as I said, I did seal it. And as you can see, it's still very, very flexible. All right. Now, as I said, this is like super, super soft. It feels like, it almost feels like butter. It is so soft. Anyway, <laughs> um, so these are interesting. I thought, you know what, these would be perfect. We plan on going to Mexico, or I should say, we planned on going to Mexico this year again. And I thought these would be really, really nice to have on our luggage. Um, you don't normally see these. So I thought this would be perfect. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be going to Mexico this year. Keeping my fingers crossed that we do, but it doesn't look like we will be. But anyway, these are super nice. Comes with some really nice special shape drills there, and I love parrots. So this one I thought would be mine. And then I got this one here too. And it also has some really nice special shape drills there and beautiful rhinestones. I had very minimal garbage doing these. I was just really amazed. But again, super soft. 
very pliable. I was expecting hard plastic and no, this is, these are amazing. They are amazing. The straps are the fake leather as well, but still very soft to the touch. And I can't say it enough. I was really shocked at not only the quality of the drills, but the quality of the product all around. So these are luggage tags and really, really enjoyed them. Okay, so let's show you these. These came in as a pair. So these are bookmarks. And again, I thought, okay, bookmarks probably be, you know, like that cardboard stuff, right? No, this is very flexible. It's that fake leather again, but very, very soft and just beautiful. What do you guys think? I think these are just gorgeous. So just overall, like I said, shocked at the quality of the products that they're selling. It comes with these two tassels. It is kind of heavy. Um, that's the only downfall I think with the tassels. Uh, makes it a bit heavy, but these are just fabulous. Love them. Okay, so these, these are called sunglass cases. And I thought, you know what? Um, both me and Mr. Review wear glasses and we're constantly not knowing where we place them. So I thought this would be a good alternative for that problem. And especially when we travel. Now, this is the only place that was drilled, um, this one here as well. And you just open it up and it's got this really nice velvety soft uh, portion here. You just put your glasses in and my worry was, are my glasses gonna actually fit in this? So just to show you, glasses do fit in there and they, there's a magnet right underneath this felt and it shuts, it does not open on its own, so you can, and it won't open. So really super idea, pull my glasses out. And I ended up getting these two. Now I did seal them as well. The Liquitex does not take away from the drills at all. That shine and shimmer is still there, but when you run your hand across there, it's not sticky. That sticky residue is completely gone. I really love this product and highly, highly recommend it. So again, you open it up and you've got this nice felt liner inside there. And again, these were actually designed for sunglasses, but they're actually going to be for glasses. <laughs> All right, everyone. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this beautiful journal that I picked up. And I haven't completed this one yet. Um, I'm looking forward to it though. This will be my 2021 journal for my diamond paintings. And this one has approximately 60 or 70 pages. They do not have lines. I'm not the one that favors the lines or the little part where it says memos. I mean, it really doesn't matter, I guess. For me, I'd rather have the blank sheets. This is going to be really, really pretty. And, oh gosh, I'm so sorry for the glare. Oh my gosh. Um, let me show you the drills for this one. Since we haven't gotten this completed, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera so I can bring it down. We're going to take a look at the drills for this one. And we'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back. And if you guys are a purple lover like I am. Oh, wait until you see these drills. Oh my gosh. So these ones here are just gorgeous. Now I'm going to bring them up so that my camera focus in, but look at that deep, rich purple color. That is just going to be beautiful. Gorgeous. All right. Now let's show you the strand here. And as I said, when I was working on those other projects, I had very minimal garbage. I was really, really shocked. Um, the quality of their drills, very nice. So we've got some yellows here. I'm just gonna, there we go. And then we've got some light lavender, almost like an amethyst, the light amethyst. 
And then we've got some more dark, rich purple. Kind of a hot pink or a fuchsia. Some rich red. And we've got these creamsicle colored almond shaped drills. And we've got these really rich red almond shaped drills. These are small though, these are really tiny. Okay, and then the next one are crystal almond shapes. I would say that they are the same size as these red ones. So they're not tiny, tiny, but they're small, which is okay. Ooh, okay, so then we've got these beautiful, if I can get them to flip. Okay, I don't think they, I really don't think they're gonna do it, but believe me, these are gorgeous. Let's see if I can bring them up. They are a deep purple, half moon shape with um, that iridescent coating on it as well. Really, really pretty. Wow. And then these half moon reds. Beautiful, beautiful. So those are the colors for this journal here. And I'm looking forward to doing this, but this is gonna wait a little bit. I've got plenty of time to put this one together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the camera again. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back. And again, all of these items came from Crafty Arts. And I know I'm not saying that correctly. I, I am so sorry. <laughs> so let's go over the pros and cons. Let's do the cons first, as I always like to go with the pros last. Now, the cons. Um, I really don't have any. Like I said, there was garbage but it was very minimal and it wasn't something that I was overly concerned about. I had no problems with the symbols, no problems with uh, popping drills or sliding drills. Um, all of the items were poured glue, so I'm very impressed with their product. And also, I love the way each of these items feel. I mean, as I said, it's fake leather, but oh my gosh, is it ever soft and very pliable. Now, as I said in the beginning, I did use Liquitex to seal all of these, and as you can see, the pliability is still there, and the shine and shimmer on the drills remain. So, if you're interested in the product that I use, I will have that information down below in the description. Take a look at it, guys. I'm telling you, there are a lot of creators that use this specific product and love it. So, all right. So by saying that, we're going to go ahead and end the video. Let me know what you think about all these items. Let me know what type of sealer that you use. Do you use a sealer on your partials and your rounds? All right, everyone. So by saying that, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're new to the channel, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do decide to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell is gonna let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So everyone, by saying that, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it's afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it's evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name's Janae. Thank you for spending some time with me today on The Review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone. Remember, be safe, be happy, and be healthy. Bye for now.